In light of the major areas of strength in Thomas's original Tess of the D'Urberville, Trishna portrays the story of a lady whose life is destroyed by the constraints of monetary prosperity, the entrapments of warmth and life, and her personal improvement. Set in contemporary Rajasthan, Trishna meets Jay Singh, a rich English monetary master who has come to India to work in his dad's motel business. He sees her strolling in a motel and is attracted to her greatness and genuineness. After a mishap obliterates her dad's jeep and passes on her family without the necessary resources to help themselves, Trishna, drew nearer with a proposal of work from Jay, acknowledges and starts her work underneath him. Jay fosters a fascination toward Trishna, communicating it through unique treatment and gifts. She is overpowered by his liberality and his strategic, influential place and doesn't have any idea how to answer. Following a night out with companions, Jay finds her and salvages her from two men irritating her in the city. Be that as it may, rather than returning her to the worker quarters of the inn, he stops in a lush region and makes a development. It is inferred that he assaults her when she gets back from their experience, crying heavily. 3. She escapes the following morning back to her loved ones. An undesirable pregnancy results, and Trishna has a fetus removal. Expecting to place the whole episode behind her and go on in her family as though she'd never left. In any case, her dad's disgrace over her pregnancy and the family's requirement for money implies that she is shipped off work for her auntie and uncle, serving her bedbound auntie and furthermore working in the little processing plant her uncle runs. Regrettably, Jay finds her once more and appears to be shocked that she has done whatever it takes not to reach him. Because of his own oppressive, egocentric propensities, he sees the assault as a consensual sexual encounter. In Mumbai, Krishna will go with Jay to occasions connecting with the entertainment world, wherein he is keen on money management as a maker. She starts dance classes and is strikingly great, yet Jay will not permit her to seek after moving as a profession. He attempts to persuade her that she would rather not be an artist and that she is to remain next to him. At their home, he is oppressive and treats her peacefully, clarifying that she is to deal with every homegrown errand. Their relationship has subsided into a game plan when Jay out of nowhere needs to leave for Britain, where his dad is an emergency clinic subsequent to suffering a heart attack. Krishna, having heard nothing from Jay, moves in with a portion of her companions from dance class in their condo. Shockingly Jay gets back to meet her, however he imagines it was every one of the a misconception and that she ought to have let him know that the rent was not being paid. Stuck between venturing into the red with a more peculiar and the Jay, the least damaging options, she decides to get back to Jay. His dad's debilitated state implies Jay needs to get back to the unspoiled lodging in Rajasthan. He extends to her an employment opportunity at his lodging where he vows to keep up with their relationship stealthily.
Jay regards her as a worker out in the open, which for him adds a tantalizing rush to their sexual experiences. Yet, Jay's fatigue, dissatisfaction, and return to an incredibly prevailing position intensifies the power dynamic that all around tormented their connections. Jay's longing for control turns out to be perpetually clear. He starts to envision himself as the Raja of this lodging that was once a palace, relocating to the rooms the ruler had once involved and constraining Trishna to serve him. He turns out to be progressively harmful and physically coercive, until Trishna turns into a simple item for his sexual and close-to-home double-dealing. Following quite a while of this, Trishna, her soul obliterated and her expectations for a valuable open door destroyed, takes a kitchen blade and, while Jay is dozing, wounds him to death as he wakes and sees her in shock. Trishna escapes and gets back to her family's town, where her mom and more youthful kin accept her joyfully, however her dad keeps on treating her icily. At first, she has all the earmarks of being having an ordinary existence, yet in the disastrous peak Thrishna tracks down a segregated spot and ends it all by wounding herself with a similar kitchen blade used to kill Jay. <laughs> 